take these time value of money into four different uh, categories and then we'll go into some more details about each of those categories and then of course the way to get these down is to just work practice problem after practice problem we will have a lot of them in multiple different formats so you can understand when to apply the time value of money how to calculate the time value of money understanding that other people might do these same calculations in different ways they might make different assumptions within them and you want to be able to recognize what is going on no matter what assumptions are being made and what type of calculation they're using in order to to make their analysis so we could have a future value of a single amount that's going to be a situation where there's a value of an amount that grows uh, at a given interest rate over a set period of time so if we're talking about a situation where we have some amount here and we're thinking that if we put it into the, a particular investment you can think about or if we put it into a particular thing it's going to be growing at a fixed amount so then we can then project into the future where we will be in the future amount what's going to be the future amount if we take this one lump sum and you can think of it most easily as like an investment if we put the investment in there and it grows at a fixed rate and we just put one lump sum amount not multiple amounts which would be like an annuity but just one lump sum then where would we be at the end of some of some set time period so if we have those fixed variables we have the rate we have the fixed time period that we're going to be putting into place then we can figure out where we will be in terms of the future value then we have a present value of a single amount type of calculation that's going to be something like a payment to be received in the future is worth less in today's time so that would be a situation for example if we're going to get paid in the 